it can be pretty decent and have a decent payoff long term. But uh, that's how I was doing it. Okay. What do I have? Huns. I will have a horse. I'll have a horsey. Yeah, then it can be decent. The issue I see is if people try to overcommit on the fish traps and fishing boom. Like you can try that with Malay, for example. Where's my last bill? Here. With um, Malay, I would not be opposed to a faster. Uh, like a, maybe a second dock even, or or at least like make like ten fish and ships and fish traps. Why not? But doing full fish boom, I don't think it's a good idea. Is the Fortnite game is still there. Yep, uh, it was uh, orange. Ooh, dock in the middle. I, think I might try the big wood double dock fish boom. Approach with the Huns can be very smooth. Enemy sighted. Was he allowed to play? So we have a game. Where is it safe? Oh, well, not great woodland. Where is it safe to... Uh... I mean, my scout. I will get a horse. It's gonna provide me... Plenty of scouting intel. The hoons! Does it push deer? No. The issue I have is that right now is I have no... Maybe I do a dock in the middle as well. I have no food under my town center. It's quite bad. I cannot produce wills. That's why I also feel like I'm forced to do a dock. And my horse is not even finding any sheep either. Right around it. Run faster. I should have gone along the shore fish. Along the shore. Usually there's fish and ships there. Uh, Sheep along the shore. How's the hidden cup preparation? Zero! I mean, I trained a few games with some of the people trying to qualify. But I haven't started, like, intensifying my own prep yet because we don't know the maps, right? We don't know what maps are going to be for the main event, so... It's a bit hard to justify big time investment grinding gold rush. Okay, one boar there, that's nice. I think this is solid. We have a fishing ship up. The dock isn't necessarily great, but... Despite a little bit of rough opening, we have a fairly smooth village abduction going now. Not a boar. Can you promise a non 5 0 defeat, Viper, please? I can't promise that. You know why? Because it's not possible with the settings. The maximum that you're going to have is a best of 7. Well, unless the final can best of 9. I don't actually know the settings. If anyone knows, feel free to tell me. Looks like a great opening for Hans and Nomad. Yeah, I think overall it's been pretty good. Dock could have been maybe better, but it's still fine. Uh, with both blue and or gray there, I'm going to do a second dock and do the big fish boom thing. The one dock in the middle and the second dock goes on the outside. <clears throat> Dropped out wins. That would be something. I do not hope that because the amount of shit talk and confidence he would get from that. 
It will be terrifying. Yeah, dog isn't great. Uh, let's check if anyone else docked the middle. I can do that with my horse. Because I have a horse. Why would the villager spawn on that side? My gather point is here, yet the villager on garrison comes out there. I don't know what tile here is blocked that it would do that. Let's see if it happens again. Oh, now it came out there. I guess maybe there was a tree there earlier. Oh, the final is best of nine? Okay, then I cannot promise no best of best uh, five zero. Sorry. Uh, for me, it's all about the day I have. I could lose 5 0 to Hera, Tato, Yo. Heck, even doubt. Depending on what version of me shows up. Do you think Viper should consider how many games he ought to win more often? I'll I'll keep that in mind, yeah, thank you. Should we do like a triple dog fish boom even? Even another one? Why in the hell not? Yeah, we have no dogs in the middle. So this fish might also be safe. To make a fish boom. I'm starting to like the idea of this, as long as I don't lose my fish. I trust my team to keep me safe. Will you stream less when you'll be a dad? Um, initially, probably a little bit less. But... I mean, it's my livelihood. Let's say our livelihood. So I still will definitely stream. But depending on how much I'm needed for everything around in the house, I will obviously be a little bit less available compared to initially okay, we're gonna have four dogs what can go wrong the good thing is though even if i lose a couple of fishing ships i will have so many that it's kind of fine let's give savage some information as to what he's tower rushing Is work at, uh, she is currently unemployed. And there's no, we're moving soon, so there's no point for her looking for work in Leipzig. And of course, after she has given birth, it also makes sense for her to stay at home a little bit, recovering and everything. And then I'll help with what I can, and then we'll see after that how much she needs me and how much I can dedicate to streaming and such. I'll probably fish boom inside here as well. This is shaping up to be a really nice Rage Nomad game for me. I'm enjoying. No, not the horse. Oh, it lives. Nice. Do you like to be asked about your paternity or do you prefer more privacy about it? Uh, I don't really know how everything is gonna be, still. So even if I knew everything, I would, I wouldn't be able to tell you. That's the fourteen hundred player. He's Vikings, though, so he's probably playing water. Man, this economy is gonna be insane if I don't get punished. Depends exactly. Okay, Max. Oh, Max is here with Mongols. I guess I can probably do something about him. I 
If I can go like big stable light cav. He's castlish already though. This looks like a boom. Maybe I can just raid him to death. With mass. Light cav. With our crazy fish boom. Should have prepared for it earlier though. This is all a bit late now. Oh, my horse. You served me well, thank you. No one has talked to middle, so that's good. It's probably a fourth town center even at this point. I'm putting a lot of faith into uh, me not being raided or losing water. Shit. I prage, you hold. Kinda gonna need him to hold there. Please don't lose it. No. Um. Shit. Should have known better. Yeah, decent raid. They're gonna get so much score from killing my fish, it's gonna be nuts. <laughs> That's solid. This is busy microing, right? No, oh, that's good. Oof, oof. Big damage. Big damage. Okay, it was 30 of them for max, not fourth. This is going camels. Kinda also need I need plus two armor. Wait, my fish is alive. What's happening? I need plus two armor and I need gildness as well. But this is pretty sweet. Like, I collected so many sheep that by the time I was... By the time I was uh, losing water, I, uh, I had so much food I could work with under my town center. I think the pressure is over though. Man, Orange has gotten taken so much damage though. You can probably go ahead and do a lot of damage to Green as well. 
Good tell is Paladin. Thank you for the four months. <laughs> God. Condolences, sir. Has it been all group matches today? I believe so. Oh god, disaster. Max is their only hope now. Everyone else are dead. Well, well, well. I guess I could go full Tarkin and pray. He has camels at the moment. Where's yellow? Oh, he's up here. True. Did I lose my fish? I think so. Happens. Not sure if you want to mess with Gajara camels either. Long swords, then I think I go. Ooh, Lancerinos. Do I have to go? No, I go Cowarches. I have to go Cowarches, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Cowarches makes sense. That has to be the right answer. Wiper top score. The power of Hunts, man. I feel like it has to be Cowacher. Parkins will be nice, but it's Gajara and Mongols. And... Gajara will have Camels. Mongols will either have Mangurai or... Well, temporarily it's Camels as well, but... Maybe Tarkins makes sense long term. We'll see. Tuna pop Mongol kills Tuna pop Hans, but Viper has an easier time to mess. Arguably, yes. But there are compositions here where it's like if he goes only Mangadai, on paper, I counted that with Tarkin, right? So it's not that straightforward. I think I have the gather point bug. Or say bug. Misclick. And since he has a fair amount of camels as well right now, I think mixing in or going couch, at least as the opener, makes a lot of sense. Then I can later make a tech switch to Tarkin if the situation allows it or calls for it. No! I'm sure the story couch though. Yes and no. I think he's not gonna be Imperial Age as fast as me. So I don't expect him to be able to. Oh, oh there you go. So 
So that was the Italians fully boomed, which kind of shuts down Mongols and Gojara in one. And we have a sizable score lead. I'm in Peril Age as well. Max does not even have a castle up yet. So my couches would have absolutely dominated here. I think it was a fair resignation. How are you doing sometimes? I am stress relieved with AB2. What? What build do you teach your son first? Fast Imp Fetoria. Could afford a long switch? You're true. Wow, a full game not being housed. Such a pro. Thank you, I know. Uh, Blake has three months. Nomad clown player here with like zero good Arabia builds. Appreciate this Nomad content. You're welcome. Hope you enjoy it. Or glad you enjoy it. Hmm. Yeah, Orange lost a lot of builds to the Light Cav. Green <laughs> lost a lot as well. So they're pretty much down two players. And then I think Yellow was castle dropped as well. I think his starting Townsend was here. So it's, they only had Max up and running. And we have the Italians in Imperial Age and Huns in Imperial Age. It was probably a fair resignation at this point. That opening felt good. We have more wills than Max. So we weren't behind economically either. That's what you can do. If you get a Huns untouched a Nomad, despite a little bit of a slower start, if that fish gets up and going because you never housed, you don't have to spend wooden houses, so you maintain dock production easier, Huns can be really, really good still. And the horse is really good as well to get information and collect sheep. 